I will show you how to do the cable cast on. This was the way my mother taught me and I've done it that way all my life. So put the yarn over your finger and then pull a loop through and tighten it. That's called a slip knot. Put the needle through that loop And for to start the cable cast on, you put the needle behind the stitch, not through it, and the yarn over the needle, bring it through and put that stitch onto the other needle. And then you put the needle between those two stitches that you've just made, not through the loop, through the whole stitch, the space between the stitches. And it's yarn over needle, needle through, and put that need that stitch onto the other needle. So it's needle through, through the space behind, yarn over the needle, pull a stitch through, and put it onto the other needle. Needle through the space behind the stitch, yarn over the needle, bring the needle through and put that stitch onto the other needle. Needle through the space behind the stitch, yarn over needle, bring the needle through and put that stitch onto the other needle. So it's in, over, through and off. 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 In, in, over, through, and off. In, over, through, and off. In, over, through, and off. And that's a few stitches of your cable cast on. And I do this on all sweaters and cardigans anywhere you want a fairly tight edge so that the edge of the garment doesn't go baggy and that's how i find the cable cast on stitches the best for that And now I will show you how to do stocking stitch. And stocking stitch is one row knit and one row purl. And you put the needle, this is the knit row, you put the needle through the front of the stitch and the needle goes through underneath the other needle. And you put the yarn over, bring it through and take that stitch off the needle. Needle through the loop, 
yarn over the needle, needle through the loop and take the stitch off the needle. Needle <coughs> through the loop, yarn over the needle, pull the needle through the loop and take the stitch off. So it's in, over, through and off. 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 And that's the knit row of stocking stitch. And now for the purl side. You put the needle through the front of the stitch again, but this time the needle is over the top of the other needle. And you put the yarn over, pull it through the loop, and then take that stitch off. Put the needle through the loop, yarn over the needle, pull it through and take the stitch off. Needle through the front of the loop, yarn over needle, pull the stitch through and take it off. So it's in, exactly the same as before, in, over, through and off. 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 In, over, through and off, 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 in, over, through, and off. And that's two rows of stocking stitch.
and that's an extra two rows of stocking stitch just to show how easy it is.